What's up, world? Welcome back to Charge the Game Podcast. I'll be your host here, Chuck. And in this moment, we're going to discuss Tad Prescott as he is ruining his brother's position with the Dallas Cowboys, and I'll explain why. But first, before I continue this video, I want to ask you guys to do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button. Also, hit that notification bell so you guys can continue to get the latest when I drop my sports media takes. Now, we all know that Dak Prescott is a starting quarterback for one of the world's largest, if not the world's largest, sporting franchises in history. And he is known to have a brother with a mouth. And that brother is Tad Prescott, right? They literally look like twins in, in certain pictures. But, man, it just seems like everything Dak Prescott wants to say, or if this is what he wants to say, his brother does not shy away from it. And one thing about Dak Prescott, man, he's been very, very good at keeping Jerry Jones in the Cowboys organization, at least the front office, you know, at arm's distance. You know what I'm saying? The way that he negotiates his business and conducts himself, he does have a lot of class. He represents the organization well, but he also puts the organization in a bind. And that's why I think that even with the fan base is so divided, you know, like Dak Prescott, man, he just, for some reason, cannot get over the hump. We've seen, uh, you know, at the end of the season when they lost that home playoff game to Jordan Love and the Green Bay Packers, how uh, how CeeDee Lamb mom came out and said that Dak Prescott isn't it. We saw Micah Parsons' uh, brother and a few of his family members take shots. And at the end of the day, if they're saying it, it's because they're comfortable enough to voice it because they've been hearing it for so long. And I think that the players in that locker room truly do feel like Dak Prescott is not the answer. However, he is tolerable and is it, it stems from a lack of respect. But let's get into, in my opinion, why I think Dak Prescott uh, brother is ruining things for him. I think that if Tad Prescott does not watch it right, and I'm sure this is somewhere implanted in Jerry Jones's mind that Dak Prescott is going to be the first uh, Dallas Cowboy that was drafted that they end up either letting walk away or that they trade. Because we know that Jerry Jones, he's homegrown. He likes to draft and develop his players. Uh, he likes to look at all of his players like kids. And in some ways, this is what's really hindering them. And uh, Tad Prescott, even when Michael Parsons and CeeDee Lamb came out, you know, and they had all the rebuttal, you know, to say about Dak Prescott, Tad Prescott was there you know, ready to go at it, you know, saying stuff like this is why I don't like the Cowboys organization and, and why I can't wait till we're out of here pretty much. Right. And you got to know that if he's feeling that way, Dak Prescott feels that way, too, because wearing that star on the side of your helmet, man, it, it comes with a lot of scrutiny. It comes with a lot of, um, you know, eyes on you. It comes with a lot of attention, good or bad. And it's, lately, it just has been bad. Do I think that Dak Prescott is a bad quarterback? No, I think that he's a middle of the pack quarterback and, you know, it's situational with him. You know, that's what's ruining Dak Prescott in the big situations, the big moments to make it count. He just comes up short and uh, we'll get into this article. And I'm sure everybody's heard Dak Prescott brother takes shot at Cowboys front office on social media after slow start in free agency. Now, you guys know that this is a Philadelphia Eagles channel for the most part because I love the Philadelphia Eagles, right? And we make moves and we still are making a lot of moves. Um, and it seems that everything that transpired last season looks like we're figuring it out and we are on a speedy recovery, which led Dak Prescott, brother Ted Prescott to say, so if it wasn't clear already, it is now. The Eagles have the best front office in the NFL. Kudos to Howie Roseman and, and, and Jeffrey Lurie who literally make all these things happen because I'm, I must admit, we, we we always make big splash moves and that's what keeps us competitive. And I think that with Jerry Jones, man, they're, they're still in that 1990s mindset where, you know, oh, you ought to be honored to play for the Dallas Cowboys. This is our brand. We have multiple championships and this is a new era, man. Kids don't give a damn about that shit. Honestly, they just want to get paid. You see Nick Saban, uh, we'll make a video about that as well. Nick Saban really was forced into retirement because these kids are not traditional anymore. It's not about pushing kids around, making them do whatever you want them to do to have the hope of making it to the NFL. And it's damn sure not like that in the, in the NFL now. You really 
can have your way and 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 the new generation of these kids the waves of the kids that have been coming in, into the nfl they have the same mindset so that's it, that's another reason that this organization is not functioning well and also the internal problems in the locker room stemming from you know the lack of respect that these players give Dak Prescott stemming all the way back to the beginning of last season when Trayvon Diggs got in uh Dak Prescott face and pretty much you know called him you know the b-word shut your b-a-s-s up and when I see stuff like that it just it just lets me know that Dak is not in control of this and yes I get it he's a nice guy but the lack of respect from uh, the front office down to the players, it just seems to not be working in Dak Prescott's favor. And the way that Tad Prescott comes out to attack uh, the Cowboys and everything that they do pertaining to Dak Prescott is really doing more harm than help. And I get it. This is your brother. I mean, I will probably be the same way. You know what I'm saying? It seems that Tad Prescott is a lot more emotional to me. And obviously, he's not the athlete. He's the brother that's just reaping the benefits of his big brother uh, and or little brother. I don't know who's the oldest, but it just seems like he lashes out every time he has an emotional feeling towards the Cowboys. And it's you got to think about it, man, like you really want your family and the star quarterback to have a healthy relationship with the front office and organization. And I just feel like it's too much turmoil. And I, I would not be surprised if uh, Jerry and Stephen Jones literally make Dak Prescott play it out, see, try their luck, because they seem to be in a bit of a pickle. You got the left tackle not signed and throwing mood swings. CeeDee Lambs in, in, is in the works. Michael Parsons in the works. Dak Prescott in the works. So it just hinders them from being able to make these big splash moves in free agency because Tad Prescott, your brother, Dak Prescott is not willing to give the hometown discount. And this is something that literally uh, has always been Dak's style, you know, and I get it. You know what I'm saying? He's made a lot of money with the Cowboys in the beginning. It was not like that. You know, now he's having his way. He's in control. And Dak Prescott has all of the power, you know, to negotiate. You know what I'm saying? And with the salary cap going up, everybody is worried about me, 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 me. But anyway, it goes on to say the Philadelphia Eagles, go Birds have already started reloading in free agency while their rivals, the Dallas Cowboys, have been rather inactive. The lack of spinning from the Cowboys has their fans and Dak Prescott's brother frustrated with Jerry Jones and the rest of the team's front office. Now, I can imagine that, guys, okay? Being a Philadelphia Eagles fan, I mean, even me watching all the stuff we are doing, I am literally, like, jaw-dropping, happy, cannot believe all of the magic that is happening. And you got to understand the foundation and the culture that we have established in Philly. People and players actually want to come there. Like players want to come and play for Jalen Hurts because he commands that respect. I don't know if Dak Prescott has that type of niche or that type of welcoming or that's going to make players want to go there. And we saw what, uh, what's his name? Uh, I think his name is Dalton Schultz or something like that. The previous tight end. You know, he went on the air talking about how much better it is at the Texans uh, versus the Dallas Cowboys because it's a complete zoo. And uh, this is the type of things that make players kind of weary and stay away from all of that drama. And Jerry Jones going on the radio twice a week, acting like an NFL player that's 19 years old at times, it does not help. And I must say, I feel like this will be a very frustrating season for the Dallas Cowboys simply because they just don't have all their ducks in a row. I also think that Dak Prescott and Jerry Jones are going to, if they do not come to a contract deal or some type of agreement, I don't think that Dak Prescott is going to be happy, especially if Jerry Jones makes him play it out. So you have all of that working against you, Dak Prescott. Then you have your brother coming out. It's just not a good look. You keep Jerry Jones at arm's length. And I'm here to tell you guys, I would not be surprised if Jerry Jones, trust me, the last time he got this mad was with uh, Jimmy Johnson. He just could not take it. And he did something that literally ruined the organization. They say that the curse is lifted. I do not believe so. I think that it's getting worse as the world progresses. Um, you know, Michael Parsons is talking sideways. You got C.D. Lamb, parents talking sideways. You got internal locker room problems. I've actually trained with a few Dallas Cowboys players here. You know, because I stay in Dallas and I've heard a lot of inside scoop. So trust me, guys, there are a lot of things going on in Dallas, man. Uh, but 
nonetheless i think that tad prescott should definitely chill out already he's steadily he's steady throwing shots at the front office man and it's just going to make them dislike dak prescott even more so uh, you guys weigh in with your thoughts comments and concerns on this hopefully they can get this thing situated and handled and everybody can you know get their deals done and play some good football at the end of the day even as a eagles fan as a rival man at the end of the day i want to be competitive i want to you know face the cowboys at their best uh and i know like most rivals they'll be happy that you know things are not going in you know the dallas cowboys favor but i'm i'm genuinely not like that so you guys weigh in with your thoughts comments and concerns and let me know what you guys think as tad prescott continues to go on a rant as Dak prescott still has no deal let me know how you guys feel like always thank you for the love and support if you guys are rocking with the content stop what you're doing please hit that subscribe button guys i cannot stress enough hit the like button get this video likes up because it goes a long way thank you so much for the love and support like always let me know how you charge the game peace